However, not all of the Army of Cumberland had fled. Thomas's four divisions still held their lines around Kelly Field. Look at these guys, dude. Yeah, they ain't going nowhere. And a strong defensive position was attracting men from the right flank to Horseshoe Ridge. James Negley had been deploying artillery there on orders from Thomas to protect his position at Kelly Field. Retreat men rallied in groups of squads and companies. All right, squad up. All right. And began erecting hasty breastworks from felled trees. The first regimental size unit to arrive in an, in an organized state was 82nd Indiana, commanded by Colonel Morton Hunter. Brandon himself arrived at Snodgrass Hill at about noon and began to implore his men to rally around Hunter's unit. Units continued to arrive on Horseshoe Ridge and extended the line, most importantly a regiment which was the 21st Ohio. This unit was armed with five-shot Colt revolving rifles, Oh shit! without which the right flank of the position might have been turned by Kershaw's 2nd South Carolina at 1 p.m. All right. Historian Stephen Woodward called the actions of the 21st Ohio one of the most epic defensive stands of the entire war. Damn. 